Jordan, you've just signed an extended contract with the Vikings until the end of the 29 season. It's a great statement about your growing importance to the club, isn't it? Yeah, I'm just um, happy to secure my future at the club, you know. I really like it here since I've moved up here when I was um, 17. You know, I just really like being around the lads and stuff, and I'm just really happy to secure my future. Was it any decision to, to extend your contract and to commit your long-term future to the Vikings? Yeah, it was an easy decision. As soon as I found out that they wanted to keep me for another two seasons, there was no doubt that I was going to stay. Um, I, I like being around the lads. We've got a good group here. Um, yeah, I'm just really happy to be staying. You only signed your first professional contract <coughs> at the end of last season, and it's, it's running this season. So that's a real um, it shows things are moving really quickly for you, doesn't it? Yeah, I, I only signed a two-year deal last year, so to be asked to sign a new one, not even 12 months into that contract, you know, it makes me really happy and I must be doing something right on the field, so yeah, I'm really pleased. We've seen a number of our young stars commit to new contracts recently, and this season some of our academy products have been the real highlights on the field. Are you excited to see what the Vikings can achieve over the seasons ahead? Yeah, it's a real statement from the club trying to tie down all the, all the academy lads and, and the, the young lads that have been playing well on the team. Just really excited for the coming seasons with them all. Hopefully we can push on and all get a starting spot in that side and having a, like a few a few academy players in the starting team. Why do you think the Vikings are so successful at developing young talents? I don't know. I think it's probably down to Phil Finney. He's the head of the academy. He's the one who goes out and picks all the all the kids up from around the area and, and brings them in. You actually moved to Witness from Cumbria um, when you first joined it. That was a big move at a young age. Are you are you proud of what you've achieved and how you've settled into? Yeah, you know, I first came down here when I was seventeen on um, on loan first from Whitehaven, and um, I sort of went back and then came back again and stayed down. But it was it was a massive change, you know, being away from my parents and stuff for for such a long periods, not getting home very often and that. But yeah, I've really enjoyed it now, and I wouldn't want it any other way. We've got another generation of young talent behind us now, under 19s. Do you hope to inspire them with some of the achievements? Yeah, hopefully they can look up to some of the boys now that are in the first team. And we were in the exact same position as them last year. 12 months ago, I was still playing in the under 19s, and then here I am. I've played a few games this year and signed new contracts. So hopefully they can look up to us and, and do the same. What advice would you give to young players coming through? Just to keep your head down and keep training hard. You know, the, um, the rewards will come on the back of that. Looking at the season, it's been, there's been some difficulties for the team in terms of form with lots of injuries, but for you personally, you've stood out, you've played in lots of games, are you pleased with how things have gone for you? Yeah, um, I got into the team probably because of a few injuries, but I like to think now that I've got a good run in the team that I'll be able to stay in there. Um, obviously, I've been playing OK, my form's been pretty consistent with the games I've been playing, so hopefully we can just kick on now and, and start getting the results. And this year you've played at half-back and hooker. Have you, have you enjoyed showing your versatility? Yeah, you know, um, I come through the academy as a as a half back, and then when I came to the first team squad, they sort of moved me to hooker, and that's probably where I feel more comfortable. But I have got that versatility in my game where I can move to half back when needed. So yeah, I've pretty enjoyed showing my versatility there. Finally, this is a big moment for you today. So, are there any people you'd like to thank? You know, my mum and dad. Um, they've been a big part of me being down here. You know, I wouldn't be a down here without them, and also. Phil for bringing me in, and then um, Danny Smith and Brett, you know, they've got the best out of me so far and just hoping to carry on improving again.